Andrea Harden Donahue, energy and climate justice campaigner with the Council of Canadians. We're here today to simulate what a devastating oil spill would be in the Arctic. We're doing this because right now we're seeing an energy rush to exploit the resources previously trapped under ice in the Arctic. And offshore drilling will have devastating consequences. The BP spill reminds us of this. Tomorrow, Arctic coastal states are meeting in Greenland to discuss the future of the Arctic. Our message to them, we want a moratorium on offshore drilling. My name is Ben Paulus. I work for the Indigenous Environmental Network as a climate justice organizer. And we're here today working with the Council of Canadians to try and uh, spread the voice of Indigenous peoples in this process of the meeting of the Arctic states, deciding over the future of offshore drilling in the Arctic. This is a very worrying thing, a development for Indigenous communities, especially living in the Arctic areas. Uh, having known the history of offshore oil spills, of oil spills going on currently in northern Alberta, uh, these are very drastic things and, and happen to devastate a lot of local ecosystems but also local culture uh, for indeterminate amounts of time and we feel that the risk of you know, such oil spills, the risk of climate change that is a result of this oil extraction and the other industrial developments that go on as a result uh, is too great for Arctic communities and especially for Arctic peoples.